Hey everyone, we have some cruise news for you today. Back again. Yes, we are. What we got today? All right, we got Starlink has been spotted on the Norwegian cruise line. I wonder which ship. Ah, okay. Also, we have two Carnival cruise ships rerouted for the tropical storm, Nicole. Yeah, and this is a storm day, I guess, because we got two Disney cruise yeah. ships that canceled ports because of tropical storm, Nicole. Okay, and next we have a tropical storm impacting Royal Caribbean cruise ships. Yeah, then we got Carnival Celebration raises the Bohemian flag. Mm, lastly, Carnival Corporation honored among world's best companies for women. Yeah, lots of cruise news today. A lot lots today. going on. So, all right, cruise news. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back to Sugar and Allen's Adventures in Cruising. Cruising. So today is Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. Yes. All right. So cruise news story number one. What you got? Numero uno. So Starlink Internet spotted on Norwegian Cruise Line. So uh, they spotted 11 satellite receivers on the Norwegian breakaway. So that's a good sign mm -hmm. that Norwegian Cruise Line is going to start up with Starlink. Uh, if any of you guys don't know what that is, that's Elon Musk. That's his uh, satellite internet system. Uh, Royal Caribbean has um, been trying that out on some of their ships. They're supposed to get it across all their ships. It's supposed to be faster internet. Um, Hope yeah, so. and it's bad. I mean, for us as content creators, if we go on a cruise and we upload a vlog, it takes uh, takes like a good twelve hours plus yeah. to Might upload. Might be the next day by the yeah. time it uploads. Yeah, it takes a long time. Just the speed is horrible. So hopefully, Starlink will improve those speeds and make things a lot quicker. But yeah. Uh, receivers have been spotted, so maybe a Norwegian Cruise Line might start using Starlink. Uh, looks like it. Yeah, thumbs up. Cruise news story number two. Numero dos. So two Carnival cruise ships rerouted for Tropical Storm Nicole. So it's that time of year, yes. Tropical Storms. Yeah, and this one is supposed to move into a hurricane at some point. So Carnival Liberty, Conquest... Conquest class Carnival Liberty is sailing a four night cruise which departed Port Canaveral on Monday, November 7th. The itinerary was to have been to the Bahamas with ports of call in both Nassau and Princess Kays, uh, which is, of course, a private destination mm -hmm. for that cruise line. Because of the storm's approach, however, both ports have been dropped. Instead, the ship is spending Tuesday at sea and will visit Cozumel, Mexico on Wednesday. Uh, before another day at sea on Thursday and returning to Port Canaveral on Friday, November 11th. Mm -hmm. So the other ship, Carnival Elation, is home ported in Jacksonville and is currently sailing a five-night cruise that departed on Saturday, November 5th. The ship was to have visited Nassau on Monday and Princess Kays on Tuesday. While the visit to Nassau went ahead as scheduled, the ship was redirected to Freeport um, for Tuesday rather than Princess Kays. Freeport is 200 miles northwest of Princess Kays, much further from the storm's path and uh, wind field impact. Carnival Lation will spend Wednesday at sea, the same as the original itinerary, returning to Jacksonville on Thursday. Okay. Cruise news story number three. Numero tres. So two Disney Cruise Line ships canceled ports due to incoming storm. So both of these ships left on uh, Monday, November 7th, and they both received letters, all the guests did, about the change in their itineraries. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. Disney Dream was supposed to go to Castaway K on Tuesday, yesterday, November 8th. Instead, they had a fun day at sea. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Missing a private yeah. island. I mean, you know, yeah, what are you going to do? You can't compare. Yeah, what are you going to do, though? I mean, it is fun. Fun <laughs> days at sea, you have fun, but not as much fun as when you get off the cruise ship not and you're on a private going, island. Not as yeah. fun as going to Castaway K. Okay. But anyhow, that was the only change for that ship, so they had a fun day at sea instead. Disney Wish, on the other hand, they were supposed to also go to Castaway K and Nassau, mm -hmm. and both of those ports were canceled. Instead, they're going to go to uh, Cozumel. And then this past Tuesday and tomorrow, Thursday, they had, guess what they had? Fun day at sea. Two fun days at sea. 
So, yeah, you know, that's what happens. Tropical yeah. storms, this is the time of the year for that. And this is also why if you want to book a cruise and take the chance this time of year, you're probably going to get the best prices. Right. And you just got to be open to if these things happen. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's out of everyone's control. You can't control Mother Nature. So you just have to understand when you book the cruise that, you know, that could happen. And yeah. if it does, I mean, at least you're still cruising. And safety first. Yeah, safety first. Yes. Always safety first. Cruise news story number four. Numero cuatro. So, uh, Tropical Storm Nicole is impacting Royal Caribbean as well, just like the other cruise lines. They've got three different ships so far Mm -hmm. that have been impacted by it. So, Anthem of the Seas, it left um, Jersey November 6th, Sunday. So, all three of its ports, Coco Cay, Nassau, and Port Canaveral, have all been canceled. Mm -hmm. Now, instead, it is going to Haiti. All right, Liberty of the Seas left Monday out of Fort Lauderdale. It was supposed to go to Nassau and Coco Cay. Instead of that, it is going to Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic today. And lastly, Independence of the Seas, uh, it left on Monday. It was supposed to go or Nassau and Coco Cay, so it went to Nassau, but Coco Cay has been canceled, and they didn't put any other stops in its place because the cruise was such a short cruise. So Coco Cay was a... yeah. Fun, Fun day at sea. sea. Oh, that, that would break my heart. I, love, I know. Oh, we love Coco Cay. Yeah, we love Coco Cay. So, Man. yeah, so tropical storms. There you have it. Cruise news story number five. Numero cinco. So, Celebration, Carnival Celebration, its newest cruise ship, which is on its way right now to the U.S., it, it yeah. is officially registered to the Bahamas. It now can raise its Bohemian flag. So, they had a celebration yesterday. You know, yes. celebrating that that registration is official now. So that's cool. That is. Yeah. Okay, everyone. So before we get to our final news story, we would like to invite you guys to subscribe. Subscribe. Yes. Yeah, so make sure you hit that like button. Turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of our episodes. And thank you to those who have already subscribed and to our future subscribers. Yeah. Thank you in advance. We really appreciate it. Yes, we do. Cruise news story number six. Numero six. So this week, the world's largest cruise company, Carnival Corporation, has been selected as one of the world's top female-friendly companies of 2022 by Forbes. That's mm, very yeah. cool. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know they were last year. So that's two years in a row. Mm. Yeah. So you want to go work for Carnival? I'm with it. You're with it. <laughs> okay. I work for any cruise ship. Okay. Yeah. Get yeah. the perks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. If we got a big enough discount, I guess. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for our cruise news for today. Thanks again for stopping by and sticking around until the end. If you're yes. still here, we really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Peace.